Hello, it's Lone today. There is an update. The TF Go update. New skins, pickup, balance, changes update. Everyone's saying Valve ripped off CSGO, even though they own CSGO. But honestly, I've never played CSGO. So I don't know what's supposed to be CSGO. I keep saying CSGO. So I'm just gonna assume they stole everything. First big change was that now you can use weapons that you pick up. If there's a weapon on the ground, and your class can actually use it, you can pick it up and start shooting people. It's just for that life, so now you can't pick up an Australian, profit 50 bucks and buy a pizza. That was my first thought, not the case. So, I don't think this mechanic is going to make a huge impact. If you like the loadout you're using, you're not going to pick up some random weapon lying on the ground. Why would you? It's dirty. People have been stepping on it, it's covered in mud and footprints. Why pick it up? And if people somehow take advantage of it, it's only a trip to spawn and back. It's not a big change, it's not a big deal. Nope, nope, nope. As for contract stuff, I don't think it's gonna last. Basically, you buy a pass, you get two special achievements, and you get reskins when you complete them. They're just more reskin stock weapons. They're just gonna get chucked in the same basket as the killstreaks, the strangers, the australians, the collectors, the bot killers, the festives, and the... That's it. Except the hot pink leopard skin flamethrower. What were they thinking? Honestly. At least for me, the best thing in this update, by far, is the weapon changes. The big earner is actually useful now. Well, maybe it's a bit overpowered, but still useful. Many sentries were nerfed, praise Gaven. Dalakas Bar, Canaris Kunai, Yuriki Effect, Thomas Slav, Fan of War, Liberty Launcher, Detonator, Ollie Boobies, Ollie Boobies, Ollie Booty, Ollie Baba's Booties, all buffed and useful. The Cloak and Dagger is supposed to be buffed, but I don't think it's working right. The only weapons I'm a bit sad about are the Vaccinator. No crit shield means no easy way to deal with aimbot snipers. I have done videos about those before. Too many of them. And the Lock and Load. No more damage bonus against players. Well, what's the point now? It's basically the old Liberty Launcher for Demo Man. My advice would be just to bring back. Bring back the first one. Remember when it had two pills, and everyone said it needed to be buffed? Bring it back. Don't fix what's not broken? Now it's broken, so unfix it. Also, I have a theory. That this is actually the NG vs. Spy update. Both the classes got fundamental aspects tweaked and buffed. Faster building carrying. Faster disguise swapping. Less damage while cloaked. Faster building. Everything. Maybe they tried to make the update mostly about the Spy and NG, kept adding shit, and decided to screw it, we're just gonna name it something else. Maybe. Who knows. I'm pretty shit at these post-commentary things, because I can't fucking talk. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'm done. Bye.